Progression one, the tucked L sit. Bring your knees to your chest. Scaps are drawn in and down, away from your ear, and get used to holding your body in this position. Once you can get 10 to 15 seconds with good form, move to the advanced tuck. In the advanced tuck, you're projecting the hips through more and extend the angle at the knee. From here, once you can get 10 to 15 seconds, progress to the one-legged L sit, holding one leg out in front and then switching. Again, once you can get 10 to 15 seconds with really good form, progress on. A lot of people can progress straight to the L sit from here, however the straddle L can be a good bridge if you're struggling until you finally get the L sit. So progressing to the floor, this is where it starts to get quite tricky. You need a lot more compression strength. And then just a word of note, depending on what your body proportions are, like I've got little T-Rex arms, it will look different from person to person. So when we get to floor, the first progression I like to take is just getting you used to holding your body weight above the ground with your feet on the ground. So from there, hands at the side, and all you're looking to do is just elevate yourself up, heels on the ground, and then hold. The pressure shoulders down towards the ground, and away from your ears. You're looking to hold that for at least 30 seconds with good form. The next progression, I would just do the same thing. The only difference now is we're just going to raise one leg at a time. So it looks like this. Leg straight, point, put it back down. Same thing, toe point and straight. You're just going to go back and forth until you can hit 30 seconds. The next progression, we're just going to go into a tuck position, nice and tight in towards you. The next progression is advanced tuck. And all we're trying to do here is just try and extend the legs out that a little bit further. The goal is you're trying to get 10 to 15 seconds with really good form and then just try and progress by straightening the legs out a little bit at a time and then that'll lead to the final progression which is the full L set. As you'll see by some of my demos, some of the progressions are very hard and I'm still working on my own technique trying to refine things and push things further forward. Key take home messages for me is start from above the floor, work to the floor, and then just be consistent with your training over time and then improvements will come. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, file them down in the comments below and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.